Then yes, the German authorities seized a massive yacht belonging to a billionaire Alisher Smanov has shocked the wealthiest people in the world. Most investors consider this auction as a confiscation of property for political reasons without any legal decision. All the world's richest people not only own yachts, uh, castles and planes in Europe, they also invest in European assets. They put the money either in European countries or in independent businesses. In any case, the money inflow was considerable. This in turn supported the European economy. The fact is that Europe attracted investors by uh, guaranteeing safety and security of the funds. However, yesterday auctions put this uh, guarantee under question. Now it's obvious that local authorities may size property of funds only because they do not approve of the owner's behavior. As the rule, such situations occur in countries that could hardly be called even developing. In other words, in such countries no one obeys the law. Analysts suppose that investors will do their best to withdraw their funds from Europe. That's why the long-term forecast for the euro is really gloomy. Notably, the pound sterling has benefited from the situation. The fact is that rich people are likely to start investing their capital in the British assets or property. Against this background, the pound sterling has become very attractive. However, the currency may continue losing value amid the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Nevertheless, it will be falling slower than the single currency. And let us take a look at the current picture on the trading charts to determine a further movement of the euro and the pound sterling. The euro-dollar pair hit a new local low of the downtrend. As a result, it continued falling, approaching the psychological level of 1.1000. Later, a decline in the euro-dollar pair slowed down. The psychological level is acting as support, and this may lead to a smaller number of short positions, thus preventing the price from a deeper drop. Notably, positions on the US dollar are much more attractive in the midterm. That's why a short-lived stagnation or a pullback may cause a change in the market sentiment. This may allow the pair to break the level of 1.1000. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair failed to break the local low of 1.3272 recorded last week. As a result, the pair bounced, thus recapping most of its losses. Under the current conditions, the level of 1.3437 is acting as resistance. As a rule, the number of short positions drops when the price touches this level, and this time the upward movement may slacken, thus causing a pullback. The alternative scenario will become possible if the price consolidates above 1.3450 on the 4-hour chart. How is trading going to unfold in this short term? We will definitely tell you in our next video reviews. Don't miss them and stay up to date with the latest market news. See you!